This is a short video on the principles of posture in meditation and these principles can be applied uh, on any form of sitting uh, including uh, a chair and uh, a bench, meditation bench and meditation cushions and they, they generally apply uh, to whether you are, you are sitting cross-legged or with your legs underneath you. They don't particularly apply to if you're meditating lying down, for example. Okay, so the two main principles are poise and stability. So I'll start with stability, first of all. When you sit on a bench or when you sit on a cushion particularly, uh, it's quite important that you're not having to sort of hold yourself up uh, that you can just have a very stable, grounded posture and that your posture itself supports you. So for example, if your legs are, or your knees are up in the air and you're just balancing on your buttocks, then you're in a very unstable position. And when you start to relax, you have to tighten, as it were, to uh, your, your abdomen or your, your, your upper body to keep yourself upright. So having a good stable position means that you can just relax and then relax completely into your meditation. The second main principle is that of poise and poise is related to in a way the front back uh, relationship. So if for example uh, your cushions are too high uh, what happens is that uh, you arch, your back sort of goes back to compensate. The cushions want to throw you forward, but you compensate by arching backwards or that way. <coughs> if your cushions are too low, you slump like that. That's your head there. And uh, when your cushions are just the right height or your bench is just the right height, there's a, a sort of natural curvature to the spine and everything sort of sits one on top of the other in alignment. And this poise is what we're looking for. The reason for this is that when you have poise and you start to get more absorbed in the meditation, your natural psychophysical energies start to rise up and you get a sort of uplift in the body. If you have poise, then and there's a natural movement, very subtle, uh, upwards, and you get a sense of being, you know, of having uplift. And this is very important in meditation that your posture actually supports this uplift. Whereas if, if you're very arched or very bowed, then uh, that natural uplift is very difficult. It's, it's going against what's, what's happening. Um, so, poise and stability. Those are the two main principles to be watching out for when you set up your posture. Now, when you're actually setting your posture up, the, uh, the general kind of approach is freshness. You, you approach your posture as if it was the first time. So uh, your body changes, your cushions change, so you're, you're aware of the circumstances and you're adjusting accordingly. So in that way, you don't just sort of plonk yourself into your usual posture, but you approach it uh, in a sort of sense of adjusting freshly each time that you meditate. And you might find very slight adjustments useful. Like you might bring your, your arms or your shoulders forward very slightly or your head back slightly or your chin back slightly and it will affect your poise. Or you might notice that one leg is stuck up in the air if you're sitting cross-legged and just sort of very gently finding a way of making it stable by perhaps putting a little cushion under it or moving your legs slightly so that they're touching the ground. So in that way, you adjust before you actually start the meditation. 
So this has a double purpose. First of all, it actually sets up your posture, instability and poise, uh, but it also brings you into awareness and presence of your body, which is a very good starting point for the actual meditation itself.